from San Jose, California, in the heart of Silicon Valley, it's The Cube. Covering QuickBooks Connect 2016. Sponsored by Intuit QuickBooks. Now, here are your hosts, Jeff Frick and John Walls. Hey, welcome everybody. Jeff Frick here with theCUBE. We are in downtown San Jose at the San Jose Convention Center for actually the first CUBE trip to QuickBooks Connect 2016. About 5,000 people here talking about the QuickBooks application and platform, the ecosystem of all kinds of, of different uh, vendors and applications. But really, the spirit of this show is all about the entrepreneurial dream and making that real. I think really appropriate here, we're getting close to the election, a lot of talk about jobs and small business. Joined uh, all the, for the next two days with John Walsh. John, great to see you. Jeff, good to see you. Looking forward to it. I, I've been inspired by the keynotes already. Heard from Brad Smith, the CEO of Intuit, and, uh, and some other speakers as well, both inside and outside of the company. But like you said, it is all about this entrepreneurial ship that we're seeing so prevalent in the United States today, and really globally. And we'll hear from speakers, I'm sure, over the next two days here about what QuickBooks is doing to expand their reach on a global basis because, again, small business is not only driving the United States economy, but economies all over the world. Yeah, and, and he talked about a, a lot of global trends that are happening that, that small business entrepreneurs can really take advantage of. Um, talked about social, you know, people are using social to make buying decisions and, and it's influencing their behavior. He talked about machine learning and AI. And really what's interesting now with a kind of a platform and cloud-based applications versus just working by yourself on the desktop is you can, you can leverage the power of all the QuickBooks community, of, the, of that whole application, their whole engineering staff that's now delivered to you as baseline application for you to run your business. He talked about security. Big, big, big news. Last week, you know, there was this huge denial of service attack that took out the entire East Coast, a ton of applications. You don't want to be by yourself right. trying to get your small business done in this type of environment. He talked about mobile and how it's really moving, especially with Gen X and Gen Y, that everyone is doing everything on mobile, really taking a mobile first uh, approach. And then, again, the power of the platform. Those are kind of his big five themes, and how does into it via QuickBooks, deliver that to the entrepreneur. Yeah, I mean, uh, we love stats. I think we all love stats. And we heard some great stats from Brad Smith, you know, CEO of Intuit, you know, talking about the multiple screens on which we operate our lives today. But then as you look at the younger folk, again, the Gen Zs, as they called it, that, that you've got the millennials who are operating on, on, on two screens, right, and balancing their lives between two screens. Now we're hearing about the Gen Zs who are like these 10 year olds and 12 year olds. I saw one getting his hair cut yesterday, couldn't take his nose out of his device, <laughs> but they're operating on five screens. Right, right. You know, and, and able to still comprehend the world around them, which I can't fathom, right, right. because uh, you know, that's just not the way we're wired. Um, but back to the social, that one, that one really struck me off the top when Brad was talking about it. We think about those social platforms like Twitter and Facebook and Yelp and what have you, but how our social networks drive decisions, especially in business. Do I do this? Do I do that? And how we turn to our networks in a social context that to drive a lot of personal and professional decisions. And how QuickBooks is looking to tap into that. Right, right and still take care of the business, right? At the end of the day, you got to take care of business. And there's really three or four kind of legs of the, of the stool, if you will, the constituencies that you have to manage. You have to manage your reporting. You have to manage your inventory, your purchasing, your supplier relationships. You have to manage your customer relationships and your accounts receivable. Very, very, very important item that they talk a lot about. Speeding that up, time to payment. There's a great quote, I, I've seen it a ton from, from business school. You, know, you can have the, the muscles of Arnold Schwarzenegger and the brain of Albert Einstein, but if there's no blood in the veins, the thing falls apart. And cash flow is the blood of business. You got to have cash flow. We're hearing over and over again that all these integrations with different payment methodologies really enable businesses to get paid quicker, both on the front side as well as have better relationships with their suppliers. Yeah, we heard about that too, too from Sasan Gazarzi, who's, who's an EVP uh, with QuickBooks. We'll have him on a little bit later on today. We're talking about those very kind of capabilities that QuickBooks is now uh, allowing for. Not only you know, taking care of your accounting practices, but also, you know, how do I get access to capital? And if I've got to pay bills, and I've got to borrow, so a relationship with Amex that they developed. And I think that the thing that struck out with me as I listened to, to Mr. Godarzy talk about was the brands with which they're partnering. So we've got an Apple Pay Play here, we've got the Google College involved, we have Amex now involved in different respects but the fact that they're looking for these really unique partnerships, uh, looking to 
big names to help small business. Right. And leveling the playing field now and giving small business the kind of tools they didn't have before, but enabling them to go head to head with the bigger guys or the and, and the elegant ladies, as <laughs> they talked about, <laughs> but, but giving them a chance to go head to head because you have the same access to those resources that you didn't have before. But what a great enabler and what a great leveler technology is. It's kind of like Tom Friedman, right? The world's flat. Right, he right. He was talking about that from a communication standpoint. Now we're seeing that from a technology standpoint and creating these opportunities for businesses all over the world on, you know, on a global basis to go head to head with bigger names. So it really is, a, I think, a pretty exciting couple of days that we have in yeah, store for us. The, the financing thing is really interesting because we're here in Silicon Valley and you know you used to be able to go with a business plan uh, and a great idea and get a lot of capital. It's not quite that much anymore. Now you've got to get a few customers and, and get it. But if you just had a regular business, it's hard to get capital. It's hard to get it from banks. It's hard just to get working capital for somebody that's running a relatively small business. And, and really what they're trying to do is kind of break that FICO monopoly or where you always have to put your own house up. You always hear the entrepreneur always have personal guarantees against their house to say, you know, we've got data in the system on how you get paid, when you get paid, how you pay your bills, what's your cash flow, what's your tax exposure, that we can now feed into a financing network that plays inside that network and can make a better funding decision based on a lot more data than they could before and open up a new lines of financing for, so, for small business, which is so, so important, especially if they're successful in growing. That puts the biggest pressure on small business of anybody's when you're, you're growing and those receivables aren't kind of keeping up with your, your demand as you're buying stuff to deliver to your products and you kind of get stuck behind the eight ball. Yeah, we heard a pretty good quote uh, too, talking about the community here is that uh, it's an old African proverb that if you want to run fast, you go alone. If you want to run far, go together. And I think that really embodies kind of the spirit of this community that we have here is that th there are people that want to go together. They're going to learn from each other's mistakes. They're going to share their experiences and their best practices. We heard from a couple of inspiring speakers today in the keynote, Ali Webb, who was really the, the, the energy behind Drybar, which is uh, uh, not necessarily a service that I can relate to. I got three daughters at home though. They all know about Drybar, blowing out your hair and paying $45 for that. And that started just five years ago in a recessionary time, or six years ago it was. And now there's 67 dry bars around the country. So we heard from Ali about the small business dream. We heard from Derek Kayongo, who's a gentleman from Uganda, a country the size of Oregon, the middle of Africa. And he talked about starting the Global Soap Project. One day he was in a hotel in Philadelphia and looking at all the soap that is thrown out on a daily basis, 800 million bars of soap across the United States and hotels every year are discarded. He now has created this global project of recycling soap and has now expanded to 45 countries. So it's an amazing reach that small business can have. It starts with a germ of an idea and through the help of QuickBooks, grows and can grow into thriving, successful enterprises. So that's really kind of, I think, the, the, the genesis of a lot of excitement that we're hearing today, we're going to hear today, from people who are making that happen. Yeah, I, I really like the Ali Web, and even with Ali, again, a lot of these businesses, it's not about what you think the business is, it's really kind of the subtext of what the business is. And she said, we sell happiness and confidence to women. We sell a visit that is going to change their day, they're going to leave with a big smile on their face, and it's, and it's affordable. So kind of like, I think this whole QuickBooks convention is, yeah, it's about accounting software and it's about getting paid and it's payment systems, but really it's about small business and we're surrounded and we're going to have a lot of guests on that are, that are building businesses, you know, uh, that, and hiring people and really setting the economy uh, forward. So I love the positive energy, I love the mojo. We got a great lineup with you two bet. very special guests today. Uh, Scott Cook, the founder of Intuit, who we're really excited to have on, and Malcolm Gladwell, right. the award-winning author, will also be joining us. So stay with us all day and tomorrow. John Walls, Jeff Rick, you're watching theCUBE at Intuit QuickBooks Connect 2016. Thanks for watching.